What's up guys, Alex here back with we'll another video and we're back with American Truck Simulator, my third video of the day. <laughs> um so today we are gonna go from Kingsman, Arizona here to Elko, Nevada. I believe I said that right. If I butchered the name, I'm sorry. To the Dollar General. I always, I never really liked Dollar General drop-offs. And you'll see why in this video. <laughs> so let's actually turn it up just a little bit. I just did the, yeah, Elko. I did say the right. Elko, Nevada. So, and I already rerouted so that we could get... Sheesh. Okay, cool. Let's get rolling. Still using the same N14 Cummins that I always use. And I've got 120,424 miles on the truck. And if you can hear um, in the living room, I'm sorry. But there's not even a trailer back there. So yeah, and I already rerouted, so we're going this way. It's 591 miles to Elko, and I need fuel. So I do not get fuel soon, I'm going to run out and then we'll really be stuck. So, I already marked a gas station, so that I could get fuel and whatever else I needed. But it's just fuel. Don't do it. Thank you. 35, 30 years. I'm good to go a little faster. You can hear the transmission shifts. Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn. Everybody behind me is like, what are you doing? Watch the trailer, make sure. I got on the curb a little bit there, but it's not too bad. 53 foot trailer, give me a break. So, turn here. This car is going that way. Oh, this is going to be a complicated situation. Luckily, I swung wide, but I don't think I'll go over here to this gas pump. So I'll try to get my trailer a little sh more straight behind. Me. Well, that will work, I think. Pull the parking brake. Put it. Turn the engine off. Get out of the truck and make sure my tires are actually straight, and they are, and then fill up. I used to have a mod where, I used to have a mod where it would give you the realistic fuel sounds, but I'm not really sure what happened to that mod. I can't find it on the workshop anymore, so I don't have that one anymore. We are full. Let's into the sound of this engine. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. So now we have 1,764 miles of driving range, and honestly, we're just going to go try to go back out the way we came, because, uh, watch the trailer. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm not sure if this is the entrance or the exit. 
turn that way. I'm gonna have to back up a little bit here. Dang it. Yeah, see that's... Now the axles are... Now I have to stop by a maintenance shop. This is not good. So actually we're gonna go a different way. We're gonna go this way now. Oh man, this is gonna be quite the video. <laughs> Because now, low will brakes. I have this really... I don't know what it is, but I just don't like the truck being damaged in any sort of way. So we're just gonna... Ooh, watch that. Oof. Stop here, pull the parking brake, turn the engine off, and then see what's broken or what I broke. Axles? Yep. 2% on the axles, 2% on the... And we'll repair the tires. And we'll just do the same to the truck as well, because why not? I really need to replace the tires on the truck, but... It's fine. I'll be alright. They're only 65%. Well, 65 and that one's 66, but for a rash, you know. What? Is there wear right there? I am... Yep, 1% wear on the trailer. Awesome. So, there's that. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Getting out of here is never easy. I'm just glad we're going straight. Well, okay, I take it back. Oh, well, it's kind of easy. So many people. Okay, I am going. I'm sorry, but you're just gonna have to stop. You guys can tell me that was wrong or illegal in the comments all you want, but people don't give any respect to semis in the game or in real life, apparently. I, um, I mean, some people do give respect to semis in real life, but not a lot. At least that's what I think. I, I see it on the road all the time. Just don't. So we have 587 miles. This might be a bit of a longer video. Especially if I'm stuck in this 35 mile an hour zone for a lot of time. End at red lights. I just need to get on the freeway and whoa! -hoo -hoo. Flashers. Okay. Nice. Honestly, I know I'm speeding, but I'm just wondering when I get on the freeway. But I think I'm stuck in this 35 zone for quite a while. Yeah, it's a minute before I get out of the 35 zone. So. Oh, or not. Now we're at 45, and now we're at 55. Now we're at 65. Cool. So, just that little area there. Just that little part. So how is y'all's week? Mine's pretty good. I don't know why I recorded three videos today. 
I was just working up, kind of. I don't know, I just decided to do a day of filming, I guess. It's fun. It really is. Interacting with the community, uh, even though it's not a particularly big one, it's still fun to interact with people. And I reply to as many comments as I can, which I reply to almost every comment because there's not that many of them. And even if there was a lot, I, I would spend quite a bit of time applying to comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the Euro Truck Simulator video that I did the other day, or not the other day, yesterday. And I also hope you guys enjoyed the BeamNG Drive video that I did earlier today. And I noticed somebody answered a question for me about what the cast iron pot was. I couldn't remember the name of it. Sorry about that. Uh, but thank you to the person that replied to that comment because I really couldn't remember the name of that certain part. And a lot of people watched that video. I was really surprised by how many people actually watched that video. I was like, I looked and I'm like, um, okay, wow, that one was popular. And I, I didn't really know what to do or how to react, but that was a lot of people that watched that video. And I'm pretty sure people are still watching that over a week ago. And that video is really popular. <laughs> I guess people like the surprise the gift surprise videos, I guess. I don't do too many of them, so. We're just cruising along here, 65 miles an hour, towards Nevada, at night. I will say that the graphics in ATS2 and ATS have been improved big time. From, why did downshift to 16? Just needs to go to 17, and there we go. So, 55 miles an hour, Las Vegas, Nevada. Going down 11. Not sure if that's an interstate or not. I think it is. Towards Las Vegas. I like the stars and stuff that they've added to the game too. Those are really cool. And they've added the moon. That's also really cool. And the northern lights. I still haven't been able to get that on video yet. The northern lights. I, I just I haven't. I guess I need to hang around the northern area more when I do these videos. Just because they're like up near Utah, Montana, Idaho. You know, those, those states. I cannot wait for North Dakota and South Dakota. The Dakotas, when they release those, oh, that's going to be great. There's the Las Vegas lights. The lights of Las Vegas. Relaxing drive. Switch over the middle lane. I don't think I'm a bad driver with the with the keyboard. I don't I don't have a wheel for the game or anything, so I just drive with keyboard. And honestly, if I drive with a wheel, I'm terrible at it. I am absolutely horrible at driving with a wheel. Wheel pedals and the manual. Oh man. So I tried it with the manual transmission, the full manual, and it, my driving was just terrible. <laughs> yeah. 
I guess, I mean, I, I'd get better at it over time, but I really should do a video of me driving with a wheel at one point if I can. If I can't, then it's fine. But me driving with a wheel is something. Slow down for this corner because it is quite the sharp corner. Is he on a downshift? Ah, it should be good. That's why I like the Cummins powertrain that's in this truck. One, because I have so much torque, and two, because it doesn't, it doesn't, it seems like it doesn't downshift nearly as much. I know the RPMs that it goes to can seem kind of unrealistic sometimes. Like sometimes it'll go all the way to 2,000, and it's not really the way it should be, but that's the way it is. So, you know, I really do like the mod. I'm not exactly sure who makes it. I wish I knew who made it. I'll look it up and then I'll, uh, I'll look on the Steam Workshop and uh, put that in my next video. But it is on the or not on the Steam Workshop, on my uh, mod list, but it is on the Steam Workshop if you guys want to go get it. Just uh, look up Cummins. Whoa. Please. Don't let anyone be in that lane. Turn that off. Man, those... These intersections are really, really cool. Confusing, but cool. I think uh, Texas has some too, like that. I know California does somewhere, I think. It's either California or Colorado. I can't remember what state has, has those. But they're really cool. I didn't expect that one to come up so quick, but. It's just it's the little things, the little twists and turns in the map. It's, it really come a long ways. I should probably get over in... I was right. Merges into one. Cruise control set at 70. Wheeler is probably going to hold us up. It should probably slow down anyway because of the corners are so sharp. You can hear the like the little thuds in the transmission. That's really cool. And I've actually seen uh, shooting stars, and I can't get a. I can't actually see it right now because it's blocked by the, the door pillar. But you can actually see the, the moon in the game too, which is really cool. And I might have gotten the the northern lights in in a video at one point. I'm not really sure, I don't remember. Four hundred miles to go. Still quite the distance. But I've seen shooting stars, I've seen the northern lights, I've seen airplanes flying over, that's really cool. All stuff that I'm sure I can get in future videos, eventually. I'm just, you have to be at the right place at the right time for it, and it's apparently not the right place or the right time for the northern lights. These 18 wheelers up here, man, they're just slowing us down. Listen to the transmission when it shifts. When it hits 65, that little click. Come on, guys, I'm trying to go 70 here. Yet, it doesn't do it when it downshifts. 
It's only when it upshifts. That small thud you hear. I guess that's transmission wear, but this transmission actually has over 20,000 miles on it. Which is impressive, considering the fact that they would wear out at 18,000 miles, roughly. Before the update, they would wear out at roughly 18,000 miles. So I am really happy that they improved that. Please tell me these 18-wheelers are turning up here. Um, apparently not. literally miles of open road, and while they are getting up to speed... I guess that's realistic, I'm not sure. Is it unrealistic how fast I get up to speed, or how slow they get up to speed? I'm honestly not sure. I think it's unrealistic how fast I get up to speed. I don't really think a semi truck should be able to get up this this quickly. We are coming up to a 40 zone. One thing I will say that is kind of unrealistic is the fact that it seems like they just slam on the brakes whenever the speed speed limit changes. Tractor sign. That was cool. So, I watched a video earlier today <clears throat> on a 2024 Freightliner Cascadia, like this one, but with the digital, uh, digital gauge cluster. That digital gauge cluster looks so good on camera. I cannot imagine what it looks like in person, but it looks so good. It was a 24 model year Freightliner. Only had 1,800, I believe, either 1,600 or 1,800 miles. One of the two. And it looked so good. And even though it had literally nothing as far as mileage on it, it was a really good looking frog. Even the color, it was in this, I don't really know how to describe it. It was in this orange color, and it looked really good. But, I really did like the digital gauge cluster for the, for the new Freightliners. There's 70, but I can't seem to, I can't maintain that speed, because these, these cars, they'll speed up pretty fast, but these 18-wheelers, they are a bit slower, which I understand, they're, they're carrying loads like I am, and I have a more powerful engine than they do, 
I make like 725 horse, which, okay, that is really, really stupid, unrealistic as far as power. 725 horsepower, that's, that's a lot of power for a big ring. So it's 725 horse, 2,080 foot-pounds of torque, and this thing is an absolute monster of an engine. I, I love this motor in this truck, and I really don't want to get rid of it, because it sounds good, it pulls really well, like a modded engine should, and it's a really good motor, I really like it. I really wish that SCS Softwares would put these engines, some of these modded engines, into the game, but then there'd be no need for the mods, so. Sorry, I'm going on and on about things. Two hundred and seventy something miles. Not too much further to go. I do love the realistic blinker sounds. The, that's another thing I wish they would change is, I kind of wish that, like, there the RPMs were above 1500. I kind of wish they would change it to where if you let off the gas, it would automatically shift. Like that, but just whenever the RPMs are at, like, 1500 or, or less. Because it just hangs out for a good while. I've had it hang out at close to 2000 or a little over 2000 RPM before. Pretty insane when it can just hang at those RPM switch. Typically between 12 and 1500, I believe, is where Semi likes to sit as far as the tachometer. And you can still get this gauge cluster in a 24. Cascadia, apparently. That was all in that one video. It had the digital infotainment system, like the digital gauge cluster and stuff, but you can still get this more traditional. Which, I mean, I don't know. I, I like the digital, but I, I like them both. Really, I, I do. I like them both. 70 and lock it. Got it. Mm -hmm. Two hundred and thirty. Three miles. I really probably should do a part two of this, but I'm not sure. I just figured it'd be nice to 
just take a drive, or, you know. See what I mean? Things out around 2,000 RPM in some cases. Two hundred miles to go. Twenty-one miles to Ellie. One thing I've noticed with the American Truck Simulator map is it's consistently either 80, 75, 70, 65, 60, 55, sometimes it can be 25, but that's only in like the mountains stuff, but those are like the consistent five speeds, so it always ends in a five or a zero. Which, I mean, is the way it is in most, on most U.S. highways anyway. So they did a pretty good job with that. And that's been in the game for ever. Since the start of the game that's been in, implemented into the game is the speed limit. See, it was 45 and now it's 35. It always consistently ends in a 5 or a 0. So. So, yeah. Hundred and eighty seven miles. This is going to be a long video. I honestly probably could have streamed this. Probably would have been long enough for a live stream, honestly. the jake break with this I doubt I'm going to be able to reach that speed, mainly because the semi's in front of us. I might reach 65. Yeah, like, it shifted up, going up a hill. Pretty impressive. Oh, I did reach 70. I actually... Hello! Yeah. 
Nope, that's another. Okay, I just cut off the car behind me and slammed on my brakes. Two. got to be a little bit oh man <laughs> well I definitely need a repair shop now oh oh Truck simulator, you never know. What a transmission still sounds great. Engine still sounds great. Oh man, let's see. We got a engine light. We got a <laughs> the emergency braking system to <laughs> try to stop us. It didn't even know what to do. So. Oh. oh man, that <laughs> truck came out of nowhere. Oh yikes. So I had to wear the train tracks. Oh, yup, that was uh, damage for sure. Oh man, that was so crazy. 90 miles, well, we might as well finish up. implemented skid marks oh whoa pretty cool they implemented skid marks <laughs> Oh man, that's gotta be the highlight of the video. I hope that's the thumbnail of that car flying. I really hope that's the thumbnail. Cause there's no way I could have stopped it taking a picture while that car was just flying through the air. Sheesh. 
which that was completely hilarious. Oh man, that was hilarious. 65 miles left. Time to get back up to 90. Transmission is tough. I gotta give it that little boy. Oh, there it goes again! Again, I gotta pay attention. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> How to completely destroy a perfectly good Freightliner semi truck. Oh man, 50 miles. I'm gonna have to do engine repair, I'm gonna have to do freaking truck repair, I'm gonna have to do everything repair because I got an engine light, I got probably an airline light, I got well, literally every light that is on the dash that can be on is on. And I only have... Oh, this ought to be good. I only have 15 gears in the transmission right now that are actually working. And... Oh, it's way down on power. It is way, way down on power. Having engine malfunctions. Yeah, that was... thousand RPM. Oh, this thing is just screaming. 25 miles, we can make it. Oh! Man. How much? 100%. That makes sense. That actually makes sense. I am not stopping at the way station. I've already got enough problems. I don't need them giving me more. Jeez. Broke down semi truck. And it's still running. It used to not be a thing either. They, they updated that to where, apparently, where if you are at 100% damage, like if your truck's at 100% damage, it won't actually stop. Apparently it'll just keep going, obviously. So don't worry about the 100% damage. Because apparently it doesn't mean anything anymore. Which is good. But we are here, officially here in, oh man, Elko, Nevada. That was quite the trip we took. Yeah, that was my fault. But I got enough. Come on, start. Thank you. I am gonna get a bunch of red light tickets. Or not. Apparently, I just need a ticket for running at light. Alright, I got plenty of fuel, I just... Sheesh! <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be quite... This is quite the video here. Fifteenth gear.
15th gear screaming at the top of its lungs, doing 2200 RPM at some points. It's just insane. Brakes, brakes. And yes, for those of you that are wondering, I'm just driving like a madman at this point because I want to get here, I want to drop the load off. I'm pretty sure the load is damaged as well. Yeah, 15%. Um, oh, please do not. Thank you. Okay, well, quite the trip, and now I need a mechanic. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.